This is Jodder's category, second place, from Canyon School by Rohan Mukopadye, and it is titled Super Chicken and Furball. This is the story of Super Chicken and his sidekick, Furball. As you may guess, Super Chicken is a chicken, and Furball is the cute dog. They are known as the good guys around town, and people know that they like to save the day. A super Chicken and Furball like to go all over town looking for trouble in all the nooks and crannies. They look high, they look low, and they look everywhere in between. The duo never forgets to look in the candy stores either, because trouble always lurks in candy stores, especially the stores with free samples. But one day they were cruising in their chicken mobile when they saw a family of cats in a tree. Super Chicken and Furball to the rescue. It's your clucky day. We're here to save you, they all cried. Super Chicken climbed the tree and gently threw the cats down to Furball, and Furball quickly caught every last one of them. After all that work, it's time for a snack. Chicken feed, dog treats for everyone. Well, just as they finished eating, a distress call came in from a horse falling off a cliff and onto a chicken farm. Super Chicken and Furball raced over in their chicken mobile. And it's your lucky day, they screamed. We're here to save you. They grabbed the horse before it fell. Let's celebrate with a snack, they said. But before they could say another word, yet another distress call came in from a chicken farm. There's a rock slide. Come quick. Rocks will fall on people's heads. It's your clucky day. We're here to save the day, they said as they rushed right over. With one swish of super chicken's wing, the rocks exploded. After that adventure, super chicken and furball have a snack and they realize it's October 30th. Super chicken takes out his feather phone and he makes a top secret call. It's almost Halloween, he says to furball our busiest day of the year. We must get ready. They begin making their preparations. The next day they wake up at noon. As Super Chicken and Furball get out of bed, they hear screams. The town is being overrun by small menacing creatures who are stealing the Halloween candy. Super Chicken says to Furball, that's our cue. Well, it's your clucky day and we're here to save the candy. Super Chicken and Furball go into battle against the evil underlings. The battle is epic, legendary, and the duo displayed moves never seen before. They defeated some of the underlings, but some of them ran down into the sewers to escape. In the dim light underground, the creatures seemed to be staring at a special sewer GPS on their phones. Super Chicken and Furball look so sad because they could not save the candy. The townspeople say, don't worry, while the song, Don't Worry, Be Happy, plays in the background. You got rid of the evil underlings. That's all that matters, they say. But you are heroes, and besides, we always have an extra secret supply of candy hidden in the walls. Well, Super Chicken and Furball look relieved. They begin their walk home, but first they stop by their secret hiding place. They open the emergency sewer escape and dive down into the sewers. Super Chicken holds his nose and says, stinky, to Furball. Now Super Chicken takes out his feather phone and activates sewer GPS. Then they turn the next corner and see all their underlings with the candy. There is a moment of silence and then they say, our plan worked. The plot thickens for you see, Super Chicken and Furball are the bad guys. They accomplished their evil plot to steal all the Halloween candy from the townspeople. After a nutritious snack of candy and chocolates, Super Chicken and Furball look at each other and say, next stop, the wells. Then with the swish of their wings and tails and a puff of smoke, they're gone. <laughs> Thank you.